But let's move on to this. Um, the House resolution says that Suara Sugg has violated at least three specific provisions yeah. of its legislation. Sponsored yeah. by my former colleague, uh, Congressman uh, Mies Nogales. Okay, so let's talk about the three specific provisions that supposedly you had violated. Yes. Okay, uh, go ahead, sir. So the, the three violations is actually, they said, under Section 4, Section 10, Section 11 of the Republic Act 11.422. They said that SMNI deliberate, uh, make a deliberate false information. That's not true. When you say deliberate, it must be intentional, false, intentionally and deliberately false. Under the jurisprudence, Ms. Karen, very clear, under the jurisprudence, sometimes we in the media, sometimes mm. we are not accurate. Sometimes there are certain inaccuracy, but certain yeah. inaccuracy or certain mistakes in the report doesn't mean that that is false information. It's still covered under the, the mm. freedom of press and freedom of expression. So they said that there is false. Yes, it's granting that is false. There, there is need for a confirmation from the House of Senate, not just a mere resolution from the House of Representatives. And especially that the NTC should not be dictated and controlled by the by a mere resolution from the House of Representatives. House of Representatives is a legislative body. NTC is the executive. It means the, the NTC has a quasi-judicial function. That is the function granted by law to the NTC and not based on the mere resolution from the House of Representatives. Mm.